Hello and welcome to Rover Enthusiastic Game Guide. I'm Sarah Dan, and this guide should give you all the hints and tips necessary to claim your grey riding camel. So the way you get this camel is by killing this element of beauty, Dormus the Camel Hoarder. Upon death he'll drop the reins of the grey riding camel, an achievement and a title. You may be thinking, ah sweet, a guaranteed mount? Where can I find this handsome fella? Well, it's not as easy as that. It never is. But for your knowledge, Dormus can be found relaxing at the steam pools in Thalaras. However, if you was going to go there now, you'd only be interrupting a party going on at the resort. Instead of Dormus, you'll find a very self-involved Johnny Arson. What business have you? Well, where is Dormus and how do I get to him then? Well, the adventure starts in Oldham. In Oldham, you'll find yourself looking for some magical camels that will transport you to this relaxing resort. And that's not the heat in Oldham making me say that. There are actually camels that will do this. Little mysterious camel figurines. And these little things can be found scattered all across Oldham. There are probably more, but I managed to research 50 locations where they can be found. And in total, I found 11 of these magical things. But at which statue was the magical one? Place your bets. And, and what do I mean magical one? And why was I so greedy to take 11 of these things? Of course, it wouldn't be an ultra rare mount without a catch. And the catch is that there are two different types of statues. The one we're interested in is strong, robust and, well, magic. The other one, however, is weak, delicate and as magic as a dead camel. This just drops some dust which you can sell for 25 gold. And the probability to find this magic statue is 1 in 16, just over 5%. So you most probably got to come across these brittle statues a few times before getting the right one. So let's try not to get the hump over this. But it gets harder. The statues have got a spawn timer, of course. The fastest respawn I saw was literally just over 6 hours and the longest took almost 10 hours. So the respawn is somewhere between 6 to 10 hours. And if you want any chance of finding one, then your best bet is to not stay at one point. Instead, fly around all points. The probability for the statue to spawn at the point you're sitting at is 1 to 50, so it's very unlikely you'll even come across one. After a couple of times flying around your route, you will get used to where you need to go, and where you would find the statues. This is the route I took, it covered all points, and it only takes about 10 minutes to complete one lap. There is also no rotation of which spawn point the statue will appear at, it's all random. It could spawn at the same point twice in a row. However, when one does spawn, you may not be the one to actually get it. There are several people looking all the time. Oldham is another one of these cross realm zones, so there are even more people about than normal. But if you do happen to find a camel statue, then the decent thing to do is to post in general that you have found it. Doing this saves people lots of time they could have wasted. If you do happen to see this in chat, your search does not stop there for now. What you can do is realm hop to a different cluster of realms. Each cross realm zone has its own camel, and what you can do is even hop to a different language server. You may even get lucky. Just you see. But as you can see, it's not just luck you need for this, you also need a good eye to be able to spot these camels. These statues are no bigger than a squirrel, but again, flying around your set route several times, you end up getting familiar with what should be there and what should not be there. So you really have to pay attention to detail. But a quick example of how your eye can pass over these camels, if you have not noticed already, there have been five statues hiding up until now in some of the pictures around this video. Did you spot them? Where could they be hiding? To make the process easier to spot these camels, in-game we can turn on friendly nameplates. Because these camels are actually NPCs, but they cannot be targeted or picked up by NPC scan anymore. So to turn on nameplates, we need to go under interface, select all NPCs to get the floating name so you can see them much further in the distance. And then after that, we turn on friendly nameplates so that there is a big green bar appearing above their head. Something which you cannot miss, hopefully. Without these on, the statues are hard to see, and especially because these camels are always standing next to some sort of object, and or standing in tall grass. The grass is much more sheltered, making the statues a lot more camel-flaged. <laughs> 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 
what? Oh, come on. Camouflage? That's good stuff. Um, whatever. But if that's not enough, you can also use a macro that will play a sound for you whenever your mouse passes over the statue. You just need to hit this macro once, but you will have to hit it again after you have found one and it has been activated. The macro is in the description, copy and paste, and make sure the macro is exactly as you read it in the description, otherwise it will not work. So we've come down to our final dusty statue. Did you guess right? Now with these statues, you may get lucky and you might find the right one on the first go. Or you may be quite unlucky and find quite a collection of the wrong ones. But don't worry, persistence and you will get it. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, whoa, 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 wait, 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 we're not done yet. No, we're not done yet. This buff you see here lasts for 20 minutes. And? So what? I got the mount, my job is done, right? Well, actually, you can share this mount with friends. To do this, what you need to do is invite all the people who want to dip into your pot of luck. And you can have as many people come as you want, as long as you have enough time. So, come one, come all. <laughs> and you thought I was done. Of course not. I'm here all week. Anyway, tell all the members of the group to come to Falaras and stack up on top of you. They may not be able to see you, but that is because you're phased. And once everyone is there, you can begin realm hopping. Right. The way this works is that you may have killed Dormus in your realm, but you still have the buff, and each realm has its own Dormus. So you can go kill it over there, but your group members must join the group with you, for you to be able to do the next part. During this process you may come across some times where you can't actually phase into the realm properly and well you're gonna have to try again. You may end up cutting it rather close in the end.
close in the last second. After you have finished getting all the mounts you need, you could either fly off and meet up with group members, or wait until the buff disappears. Then you simply just trade the mount over to them, and there is your good deed done. Flying away to a different location will remove you from the phase, but the buff can also disappear when you log out and in again. This is something Blizz done to stop people from abusing this power. So let's hope you don't get a disconnect, eh? Didn't mean to get you worried there. Right, let's try again. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, or even subscribe, and check out other videos listed on this channel. But for now, take care.